So in the last episode of Dragon Ball Z, we took a look at the Argon 40 pod case with the HDMI expansion. Essentially, you have a case for the Raspberry Pi 02W and an expansion case that turns your mini HDMI to full-size HDMI and two full-size USB-A ports. Now, this is a lovely setup for the 02W for whatever application you may have. And to add to this, we're going to take a look at the Argon pod display. Now, this is a tiny, well, not tiny, a small display for the pod case kit. And essentially, this is a part of the pod system where you can stack more accessories to the base pod case, which we started with in the initial video. So what I'm going to do real quick is take off the lids for the pod case and the HDMI expansion. And if you have a look, you'll see that I've soldered on the uh, header pins that come with the pod case because it is required to have these uh, uh, GPIO pins to operate the pod display. Before we get into how it all works and everything, let me give you the rundown of the specs of this pod display case. So the pod display is 2.8 inches. It has four programmable buttons and the screen is touch compatible. If you take a look at the back, you can see these little snap fit pins to make sure it's secure within the uh, pod case assembly. And of course, the uh, GPIO ports to bring this thing together. So let's get the pod display on and get this thing going. So about the same size as the Argon Neo. Now this does not work right out of the box. You will need to install a script and I'll show you guys how to do that right now. All right, so we have power going to the pod display and now what we need to do is install the script. I have accessed the 02 w via SSH and I'm gonna run the following command. All right, the installation of the script is complete and I'm gonna just reboot really quickly. So with the script installed, we now have a video going to the new pod display. All right, so if you wanna configure the buttons, you need to enter argon pod dash config. And at this point, it's pretty self-explanatory. If you want to rotate the screen, you enter one, configure the buttons two, and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna press two to configure the buttons. And this little diagram sort of gives you the layout of the pod display. So the buttons should be oriented at the top. And you see the rectangle that represents the screen. So you have a few options. Uh, button one, you can increase the brightness. Button two, decrease. Button three, if you want to mute the audio and four for reboot. All right, so I got the buttons programmed to adjust the brightness and to reboot the system. So having a look at it, you can see if I press the button a couple of times, the screen gets darker. And if I want to turn the brightness back up, I just hit the other button, this first one. Sorry about the glare here. And we're back in business. Now I've tested this with Raspberry Pi OS, of course. I tried to install the script with Recallbox. That didn't work, unfortunately, because you know I wanted to try to get a little emulation going on this screen, but doesn't work. So to be clear, you're not gonna be using this with a secondary monitor. Everything is gonna be happening right in here with the display kit. So running a full desktop user interface is not practical on a screen this size. 
This screen is for those who are using perhaps Raspberry Pi Lite to maybe install some stuff on the back end like Pi Hole. You could SSH into another computer on your network via this system here with the Raspberry Pi Zero 2W and this display. But again, it's, it's small and you probably don't want to strain your eyes over the screen for a very long time. I do dig it. I do like the touch screen. $35, a great 2.8 inch display for the Zero 2W. If you can program and write code, I believe you can really dig deep into the controls of the buttons here on this display. But I mean, overall, it's a nice little package. So that's all I got for this video. If you want to pick up the pod display, affiliate links will be down in the description box. And make sure you subscribe because I have more Raspberry Pi videos coming very soon. I'm Jason, and I will see you in the next one.